John here. We're heading up to Kawakawa, up north. We just come from uh, Auckland, and we're having a jolly good trip. I stopped in the Whangarei to get a bit of lunch and a bit of wash. I keep paying, keep going. I want to get back onto the computer with Harold Link and see what's going on with the blockchain wallet and the bitcoins. Got something going on with bitcoins as well. Uh, with the Rothschilds and Israel, they are controlling the bitcoins. I'm going to put a uh, T-shirt right over the top of it, a decoration of war of our flag right over the top of it. When I get it all sorted for the people, it depends on the people, the British people and all the 250 countries registered with the king and the flag <coughs> of the kings and the chiefs here in New Zealand. Not the Maoris. Better get that clear. Not the Maoris and her and their queen, Elizabeth. She's a rogue and no good. She's Satan and the devil. The deep dark state government. That's not the federal government of that flag. We are the federal state government of that flag of the kings, emperors. And that's our British title on British soil, land, England. Land laws of England still remains in contract. The King started the contract and it's still live today with us here, myself and Matt Taylor in England. <coughs> We've got uh, HRH Jeff Foley, magistrate and constable, who enforce the acts of King William III, King William IV, and our contracts, our commercial contracts, on all of those corporations, and we're going to liquidate the whole lot. We're going to liquidate the whole lot. And Israel. We're going to liquidate Israel and the Bitcoins. Take notice of what I'm saying today on the 20th of October 2018. I make this notice to the corporations of the Queen, the Crown, and her monarch, her monarch, versus the King's monarch of all the Emperor Kings and our contract flag of the Paramount Chief Tito Waikato, Whanahiriri Manukau, and King George IV, and Rewherewha Manukau, King William IV, and the flag of 1834. Declaration of war on third parties and fourth parties. Fourth parties, the Queen third party and Donald Trump fourth party and Israel <coughs> fifth party. Bitcoins and all that stolen wealth of the Trusindo and the little white spirit boy. All the gold in the Caribbean. That's King William III and our flag, the Eight Point Star. That's not the Queen's or her monarch. That's ours. Our monarch, our Queen, our King <coughs> and Queen Mary and William III. The Dutchman and us. <coughs> Zealand. Not Maori. Take note, not Maori. That's the Queen's tribe and that's the debtor. The debtors judgment debtors, we are the judgment creditors, all the people who join us with their shares in Maui, Bauhaus Group, Limited, London, UK. So that company is still live, as far as we're concerned, in Westminster, Magistrate Court, and also in the Magistrate Court, where the titles are all the native titles in the world under this King George IV and Tere Wakato Wharehere Manukau. Those times in the Whakapapa of Ngāti Whātua is judgment debtors. And the Maui Crown King William IV Trust, judgment creditor. And the Maui Crown, Maui Crown, judgment creditor. And the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Judgment Creditor, Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, 
judgment and creditor <coughs> and ourselves as the trustee to replace the Queen, myself, head trust of our Queen Victoria Trust and the King William IV Moai Crown Trust of all the inheritance that has been derived illegally we seize. We're putting the declaration of war flag and a state of emergency over Israel and America and seize their property, the whole lot, as an act of war against the British and our chiefs, paramount chiefs here. The chiefs here who are using Maori, Iwi titles, land court, court titles, they have to stay in the Maori side. Only the paramount chiefs with documents to stack up with the kings <coughs> and the chiefs from Waikato are the only ones that qualify. Today, I can't see anybody holding those documents because they destroyed them. The Maori Land Court destroyed them. So they get the bill, they're going to be foreclosed on and liquidated. All the corporations under the Queen will be liquidated, including Israel. And all the other companies that are <coughs> either bankrupted or have made fictitious companies, Scotland did that. Scotland is a criminal in all of this fraud and corrupted British law. And those in Parliament, they'll be liquidated as well and seized off their properties and our trust. The Queen will be sacked as the head trust and I'm going in there as the head trustee to recover all the debts with Jeff Foley HRH, King of England and King of Britain, UK. The new Britain, UK will be formulated at a state of emergency on Britain in weeks before Christmas. It has to be done at short notice <coughs> because the Queen is hoping no one sees it over Christmas time and it'll be our life. But there's a warning to the King and Queen of the Netherlands, do not limit yourself and liable yourself with the Queen on British soil land. If you do, you will be forfeited of everything you've got as well. All that wealth that you've stolen and gone to the Netherlands from Cook Islands will be recovered. I have all the documents to prove in the court and the Chinese government has got all the information to prove it as well. They've got evidence to have a court hearing in a magistrate court in England and a magistrate court here in New Zealand and magistrate court in all the other countries of the world that they've cancelled. They've cancelled when they're supposed to be there for the king's people, common people. So now the common people of the world join together and claim what I'm claiming back. This is a statement, um, Andy, uh, divine. In Greece, please take note that I, Oani Kahaki Wanoa, John, make this statement to Donald Trump, the Queen, Elizabeth, Windsor, Mountbatten, her husband, Prince Philip, Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, Tony Blair, George Bush, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and others I shall name later are all in this dark, deep state government of themselves. We will put it on trial at the stroke of a pen from the declaration of war flag on you. We're declaring war on you and contract out to Brits and others to recover all the debts, the gold stolen from our Queen Victoria Trust and the King William IV contract 
<coughs> cast with us and his partners, first and second partners in business, the commercial contract business, the King's Royal Revenue, the King's prized possessions, the King of the Sea title, Admiralty, Magistrate Court Bank, the Bank of England Act shall be enforced, the Bank Pound Note Act will be enforced, the flag will be enforced. The 1834 Declaration of War flag will be enforced on you as acts of war and treason and treachery and terrorism <coughs> against the British people and the Commonwealth people of the world and ourselves, the government of today. We will have your property seized. All the criminal fraud that you have caused <coughs> upon our people and upon humanity. All the environment that you have killed off the animals, the birds, and the plants, the food, the natural food, the water, that poisoned the people, vaccinated them illegally. And for that, we will put a red bar of seizure on all your possessions back into the King's Mess Hall and the King's Bank. <coughs> the pound and the gold coins. The gold will be recovered fully. Over a million metric tons of gold in the Caribbean and 400 million tons gold in the Philippines that belongs to our trust that belongs to the King and Queen of Spain the Queen of Spain is still our trustee will sack and I'll put a new trustee in there with me, myself as the head trustee with all the documents to prove that I have title of the Queen in her honour with my own Moai crown Tahitian royal family title and oath of office and the spirit of God. And that's my title and the king's title to the paramount chief of my father-in-law in Arapuni, Waikato, Tera Waikato Wharehini in Manukau in his contract with King George IV, 1823, August 1823, contract to sell New Zealand to the British King's Crown lease lands and seabed lease lands the only lease lands in the world that was ever sold as a sale and purchase agreement at that time of August 1823 that belongs to my chief in Waikato and myself the surrogate king, William IV, the surrogate king, George V, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, those brothers, and King William IV, brothers, and their father, King George III. I am the surrogate king for those kings, and the surrogate king for King William III of Orange, at the Battle of the Boeing in Belfast, the eight point star of St. Patrick is our eight point star on our flag that I command back in our custody, our control and authority over the whole British King's Emperors. That flag holds all those titles and free passage through the world. Getty, Getty family, photo image for His Majesty the King. <coughs> <coughs> and so, I claim that Donald Trump and Israel 
Benjamin Netanyahu are terrorists, they're terrorists, I accuse them of being terrorists in the 9-11 and all the wars caused in Syria, Iran, Iraq and all those places they used our flag, they abused our flag of King William IV to cause war to make money for their day. That was never, never meant to be for them, it was meant to be for the King's common people. The Queen has defrauded the public of New Zealand and Britain, UK and all Commonwealth countries <coughs> by using that flag for themselves and their family and not for us what's intention for us. We're going to seize back, hoard it and sack the Queen, sack Amelda Manikas as the trustee and Prince Andrew as the trustee. Three out of four trustees left. Ur, Ur and Carlos died. The King and Philippi took over. Philippi's not a trustee of our trust. He's not our trustee, he's a third party in that trust. And I'm going to dissolve it and put the trust back in Moai Crown, King William IV Trust, back in the King's custody of Britain, UK. It'll be a new Britain from what the Queen has wrecked and dissolved with Trump, the fourth party, and Queen Elizabeth II, a third party with their own private companies of Admiralty. She has <coughs> robbed in broad daylight of us, the beneficiaries of that trust. That for which there's a price to pay on their head, a bounty on their head of 970 million trillion trillion pound note on all of their heads, all of the corporations in the world, including New Zealand and the Iwi Maori Trust and Nga Tifatua Trust and its tribe. The Queen Elizabeth's tribe will be dissolved and liquidated of all its assets and seized off the land underneath their feet and their buildings and all their assets back into the King's Bench Court Bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank. <coughs> It'll belong to the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Corporation for all the 250 countries in the world joining us as shareholders in common. So I want to make that statement clear. To all you people watching me and all the videos I have on YouTube, over 1,600 videos, including those I've made with others and those with <coughs> Andy, Andy <coughs> Devine and others I have appeared on their videos as well. So, Mr. Trump, you are a beast of a man. The cover of your book's got your face on it, but the evil is inside the book. The snake that came and bit you on the ass and poisoned you, and you died with your corporations. So we have our corporations, we're going to dissolve your corporation. We are the ones that created the corporations. Mr. Trump, we are the ones that created the corporations with our kings and our chiefs here in New Zealand. Not the Queen. Not the Queen. You Scottish people are abhorrent bastards. I say that word because that's an English language. I couldn't have anything worse than that. Bastards and terrorists. You are terrorists. You kill people with this flag to make money for yourselves. We're going to rip the whole lot of you, Mr. Trump. We're going to rip the bitcoins off you and Israel. And I'm telling you, bricks to give us a hand to recover all the debts. So to you Putin uh, and to you in India, the East India Company, you know what they did to you. They did to us, but we had a contract. So we're calling on you with the contract with you to recover all the debts 
all that is stolen off India and Africa will gather together all those affected by the Queen and her Rothschild family. They are bastards, Satanists, dirty mongrels doing that to children, killing children, stealing them, stealing birth certificates, stealing everything. And that's the devil. The devil days are over. It's up to you people around the world. I'm saying to you, it happened here first in New Zealand. All your titles came from New Zealand. They were all fashioned here with the Maori tribe and the Queen. That's not a real tribe. It's like ISIS. They created the ISIS. They created the CIA, the FBI. They created Circo for the prisoners to arrest you. They created some of those companies that have gone redundant, that closed them and opened new ones. They created the Monsanto and shut it and made another name. These are the corporations that you need to get rid of. And the only way to get rid of them is with our flag. They've used our flag long enough and now we're going to turn it on them. We're going to turn the flag on them. Them meaning the Queen and her corporation. She's taken her sovereignty of her monarchy title away from Britain, England and taken it to America and the Netherlands. The King and Queen of Netherlands is visiting the Queen on English soil. It is the worst thing that could ever happen in front of you British people. She's doing it again. She's just finished doing it with Trump. The Scottish, those two Scottish people, before that, in 2007, she did it with Gordon Brown, two Scotties, and now she's doing it with the Netherlands. And to take our trust that's been stacked up, the money and the gold in the Netherlands, administered through Parliament there, through the Cook Islands, Haven, Tax Haven, dodged the tax there, all the tax from here and around the Commonwealth went there before it went to the Netherlands, because I know, but I'm accounting for 970 million trillion trillion pound note debt over all of that as well. The Swiss endo, the bitcoins, the pound note of Rothschilds, liquidate, and all the gold bullion <coughs> that stacked away in the Caribbean and Philippines and in New York still, or in America still, in Canada, Australia. The mining companies belongs to the King's Bench Court Bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank creditor, <coughs> the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited creditor, the Moai Crown creditor, Natua Ewa Altair Limited creditor here in New Zealand, and <coughs> Moai Crown King William IV Trust creditor against the Queen Victoria Trust debtors, judgment debtors, and Trump and his new company, the Republic of America, just put a new name over the top of the United States of America and Washington DC and put another name on it as if it didn't happen. But those other companies and the Vatican City and the City of London already got bad debt bill all over them of 970 million trillion trillion pound note split amongst all those debtors. I'm saying to all you people who have defrauded the people of the world, killed the sky and the sea and the Fukushima and the Japanese corporations, all those corporations who have wrecked the seabed and all the living plant life, the sea fish life, killed it, shaking the earth and all the earthquakes, the vaccines, the 1080 poison in New Zealand will be dissolved and liquidated of all their essence. Everything will be liquidated on the spot, just as fast as Donald Trump seized America with a 
declaration of war right over it. We're going to put a declaration of war of this flag with the new British UK government. We're going to boot the government out of Westminster and replace it with our own common people and the British military. It's up to the military and Jeff Foley, HRH Jeff Foley, to summon the British military, Scotland Yard, that's Scottish, whether they have it or not, or re-employed police as British police, and take the Scotland Yard out, because that belongs to the City of London Corporation. Take them out and change the name. It won't be Scotland Yard anymore, because that's fraud too. They are fraud inside that government, that entity, and fraud right through the police force. The whole thing's a sham scam. And Donald Trump dissolved the whole lot as if nothing happened. They didn't create any fraud. No, we already got them built right back. Right back before the Lisbon Treaty. We got you on record. And the Chinese have got it in their computers. They've got all the information from the computers. We're going to do a court case to dissolve the whole of the corporations, a sixth of the globe, in assets back to the people of the world in 250 countries, split evenly amongst them. And that's what I'm saying in this video today. Going back to uh, Kerry Kerry, Kawakawa would be Kawakawa Sori. Uh, oh, we've gone through Kawakawa, sorry. We'll be in Russell shortly. This is going to turn off on the Kerry Kerry Road, and I'll be home uh, for the last time in Kerry Kerry. Today, on Saturday, the 20th of <coughs> October 2018. I'll be turning off on the main road up here somewhere. And uh, I'll keep talking to you. Oh, the battery's going flat. So uh, it looks like that'll do for this trip. Because the battery's going flat. And uh, I'll say to you, Trump, one more time. You're on notice this time. We're going to dissolve you and liquidate you and all your new company. Your new company, the Republic of America and the Republic of Britain, will dissolve you because you haven't got a real republic. You haven't got a real republic. You're borrowing stuff. The Scottish are good at borrowing stuff. Not this time. You're not going to use our authority for you from our kings. The kings are going to dissolve you of fraud and corruption of the British law and the land laws of England. That's the end for you, Mr. Trump. You've done your dash, you've done enough damage to the world and to the people, the common law, pe common law people, the king's people of the world. So thank you very much. We'll see you later, people. Bye for now. We're on our way to Kerry Kerry. Here's our signpost here. Okay, carry carry 90 miles. Bear by the Okay, right. See you later. Bye.